Now it is students and parents, welcome to Family Worship. This week we'll be covering our fourth question and answer for week four of Family Worship. Question four, how and why did God create us? The answer is, God created us male and female in his own image to know him, love him, live with him, and glorify him. And it is right that we who were created by God should live to his glory. Let's break this answer down. We first learned that God, how God created us. God created humanity as male and female in the image of God. We see God establishing men and women in his creative work. We then see that both men and women are image bearers of God. We must ask ourselves, what does it mean that humanity is made in the image of God? The image of God is not something that we as humans merely possess. It's not a jacket that we put on and take off, or a job title that we have. The image of God is man. Man is the image of God. To be the image of God means to be the living, visible replica of God. Image in the Bible means replica. It is a representation of something else. So humanity was created to be his visible representation. This includes everything about us as humans, both our body and our soul both our emotions and our intelligence, our will and morality. All this is what makes us as humans images of God. So, we know God, God made us to be images of God, His living and visible replicas, but why? The answer says, to know Him, love Him, live with Him, and glorify Him. To know God is to be in personal relationship with God. To love God is to have affection, or, uh, to affection for and obey God. To live with God is to dwell with God throughout our daily lives. Finally, to glorify God is to use all aspects of our life to exalt God and make Him look awesome. Not only did God create us as image bearers of God to know, love, live with, and glorify Him, the answer says that it is right that we who were created by God should live to His glory. Since we are all created by God as images, it is right that we use all of our lives to bring him fame and glory. Now you might say, duh, of course we should glorify God. Why did that even have to be said? It's actually very important that this is said. It is right that we bring glory to God. Unfortunately, most of the world doesn't want to do this because most of the world is dead in sin. The only way unsaved sinners will desire to bring glory to God is by experiencing the transforming and saving power of the Holy Spirit through the message of the gospel. So, if it is right that all humans should glorify God, yet most humans don't want to glorify God, and the only way they will ever bring glory to God is by hearing and believing the gospel, then what should we as Christians do? This statement is actually the driving heart of biblical missions. If we truly believe all people should bring glory to God, then we will go share the gospel with all people. Our lack of desire to do missions is not as much about our fear of man or our lack of discipline, but in reality, our lack of desire for missions is really about our lack of desire to bring glory to the name of our creator, sustainer, and savior. This is a humbling truth. So again, our answer to question four, how and why did God create us, is this. God created us male and female in his own image to know him, love him, live with him, and glorify him. And it is right that we who were created by God should live to his glory. Now it's time for you and your family to discuss this as a group. See you next week.